What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all good. So in today's video, I am finally testing out new ColourPop makeup. I have been wanting to try out some of the products for the longest time. I did an order literally just before lockdown, and then lockdown happened, and then my order was delayed, and long story short, it's here. I'm down a few products, I think I'm just missing out on like, a liquid lipstick and a lipstick maybe. But I got all the important bits, like highlighter, foundation, concealer, all the stuff you guys want to know about. So without further ado, let's put some makeup on my face. All right, so first thing I'm gonna open up is this guy here. It's the Pretty Fresh Prime and Set Kit. It contains one primer, one setting mist, and then a blending sponge. That is so soft. So there's the sponge, and then we have the Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. You know I gotta sniff it. Ooh! I don't know what that is, but I like it. Apparently it's coconut water. Listen, coconut water is gross. Like, if coconut water actually tasted and smelled like this, I would be into it, but it doesn't. So can we, like, start a petition to make coconuts taste better? Thank you. Anyway, we then have the Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer, so I'm going to chuck that on now. I'm guessing it's probably going to smell the same. Okay, so it's very kind of moisturizy looking. So I'm just going to pop some of that on my skin there. Oh, it smells so good. It literally does just feel like moisturizer, which you guys know I love. That feels nice. I know it's early days. I know it's hard to do first impressions on primers, but the first impression, I nearly dropped it then. The first impression of how this looks and feels on my skin feels good, feels promising. So now I'm gonna move on to foundation. So I have the no filter foundation. Like I said, I ordered this ages ago. So who knows what shade I ordered? Well, I know, cause I got it in light 70, but who knows what it actually looks like? Okay. Ooh, that looks like it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on the back of my hand. Oh, it's quite liquidy. And I'm just gonna dot this on my face. I feel like a little is gonna go a long way with this. I don't know why. It just seems to have a lot of coverage considering how like liquidy it is. Oh, look, I started off doing such a nice little pattern and now I just ended up with like this. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all of this in. It seems to be blending out really easily. It's a little bit too golden for me, but we move. This blends out so nicely. Like at first I was thinking it was just kind of blending into my skin and I thought it was really, really sheer, but it it just fully looks skin-like. There's no real like telltale signs of when my foundation starts and stops, apart from the fact that it's a little bit more golden than the rest of me. But like the way that that looks on my skin, I'm so impressed by that. And the coverage is nice. I wouldn't say it's full coverage, it is more medium, which is definitely like more my kind of everyday sort of jam. That literally looks so good on my skin, holy shit. Okay, no joke, this is one of the nicest foundations I think I've seen in a while. It just makes my skin look so healthy and almost like I don't really have makeup on. That's so nice. I was kind of expecting to like it because I have heard so many good things about it, but this is better than I thought it was gonna be. I like it a lot. All right, so now we're gonna move on to concealer. So again, I have the Pretty Fresh Concealer. I've tried out the the first one that ColourPop brought out that was supposed to be like a dupe of the Kylie Cosmetics one. That concealer was, and still is, so damn good. So I'm buzzing to try this. So it says Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer, and I got this in a shade Light 50W. It's got a nice little flat doe foot. I'm smelling it, I don't know why I'm smelling it. Just kind of smells like concealer. Okay, first I'm gonna do this under eye here. Quing. And I'll do, we'll do like a side-by-side -side comparison. So I like to go down here, because I've got a little bit of darkness here. And then I'm just gonna blend all of that out with my sponge. Oh shit, this looks so good. Like these two together, they are blending in so easily. And again, it's just seamless. This sponge is really good as well. Just having a really good time so far. Okay, look at like the brightness that it's given my face on this side. Oh, it looks so good. And again, it literally looks seamless. So again, just do the other eye. This combo is making me so happy. Oh my God. Oh my God. My skin looks so good. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Now we're gonna move on to some liquid highlighter. I feel like it's been a hot second since we've done. Oh God, I know it's been so much. Next, we're gonna move on to some liquid highlighter. It has been a hot minute since I actually tried out any new liquid highlighters. This one here is just called the liquid highlighter and I got it in the shade, I have no idea, honestly. 
Champagne bubbles. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, let's do a little swatch. Just like so. Looks very, like, not highlightery and shiny, just glowy. I'm gonna do a bit on this side. So I'm gonna do a couple of drops of that. Jesus Christ, steady on, mate. We don't know each other that well. I'm just gonna blend that out on this side. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I think I went a little bit overboard. Um, Maybe it's one of those highlighters that are better on a dry base as opposed to a wet one, because I'm not really seeing too much of a difference there. I mean, it just kind of takes off my foundation. Hmm, I'm underwhelmed. I'll try it in a minute, once I've powered down everything. But yeah, on wet skin, I don't really see much of a difference. It's like just added a couple little specks of shimmer on my face and thinned out my foundation on my cheeks a little bit. Next up is powder time. So for that, I have the No Filter Setting Loose Setting Powder. Uh, you get 8.5 grams and I got it in translucent. Come on, don't give me one of those piddly little sifter things. They gave me one of those piddly little sifter things. I'm gonna take a bit of that in the lids. Looks like the same kind of color as like the Laura Mercier powder. And I'm gonna swirl my little brush in there. This one's from the body shop. And then let's set that in place. Come on, please be good. Come on. This looks promising. Okay, good. So I'm then just gonna set down the rest of my face with a big brush. Please be good. I know I'm so harsh on loose powders, but I actually want to love them all. One day, when I have my own makeup brand, which I'm adamant I will, I'm going to make the best setting powder you have ever tried. Because right now, I don't think the perfect setting powder exists. I'm just going to put it out there. This does look nice though. Really nice. Like, I like it with the foundation and concealer. I'm still not really into the liquid highlighter. But now I'm going to try it on dry skin. Let's try it this time. Okay, I'm just gonna hold on to that and I'm gonna be quick. Oh, that was my sponge. Because I feel like you do need to be quite quick with this. Okay, it's better on dry skin, but I'm not feeling the way it looks. It just looks kind of chunky. Like, let me show you guys. Can you guys see how kind of like chunky that is? Whereas this side without anything on just looks so smooth. I mean, maybe I'll even myself up. Oh, it ruined my perfect base. Yeah, I'll pass on that one. I was excited for it. I'm sure there are ways to make it look nice. Then again, I'm sure there's ways to make like raisins for nipples look nice. Yeah, not for me. I'd probably give that one a miss. All right, so now I'll move on to bronzer. So for that, I have one of their little like refillable pans and then I have one of their like actual pans. So the bronzer that I have here is in the shade Afternoon Delight. Ooh, that's a nice color. Swatch that there for you. Very kind of like warming. So yeah, I just, is it gonna, there we go. Okay, I, that's weird. The way it fit in, it didn't feel like it was gonna go in, but then suddenly it grabs it. Just science. So first of all, I'm just gonna go in with an angle brush and just do a little bit of contouring. Okay, that is very warm. Warmer than I was expecting, so we're not gonna contour, we're just gonna bronze. So yeah, I'm gonna take a slightly larger brush this time and just go straight in. Ooh, nice bronzer. Not the best for contouring if you're my kind of skin tone, but a very nice like warming bronzer. That's really nice. I wasn't 100% sure at first. I was like, mm. when I first put it on, I was thinking, okay, it's fine, but I don't know if I'm gonna love it. But actually that is like a really nice, like natural, but also very kind of bronzy bronzer. I'm a fan of that. Very nice and nice formula as well. Next we'll move on to highlighter now. One of the things that was actually out of stock by the time that my delivery was sent out for delivery, the highlighter that I chose was out of stock. It looked really good. I don't remember what it was called, but it looked really good. So instead I have the, this is from ColourPop's other brands, the Soul something, I don't really know what it is. Yeah, this is the Shimmering Body Powder and I got it in the shade Platinum, I think. So this is for the body. I don't know what it's gonna be like on the face. It looks very nice. Oh my goodness, okay, dare I? Okay, number one, I'm buzzing to have that on my body. Number two, that just looks really pretty. I don't see why I can't put this on my face. Oh my God, it smells like coconut. Like, it literally smells like suntan lotion or something. So I'm gonna pick some of that up and we're just gonna see. We're just gonna see what happens. 
I love the packaging on this, by the way. This packaging is stunning. Okay. Well, that's quite pretty, isn't it? That's quite, that's quite nice. It's a touch more glittery than I would probably normally go for my face, but I have also worn highlighters this glittery before. Oh, that looks so good though. So I'm just gonna do my usual and just pop that all over my entire face. I'm gonna try it on my nose. It might be a little bit too glittery, but we'll see. Yeah, okay, that's quite glittery, but I might be able to just tap it in a bit. Okay, now let me try it on my body. So I'm gonna take a fan brush. Oh, I fully, I know no one cares. I've done something to my neck and back. My pussy in my crack. No, my pussy in my crack's fine, thank you. I feel like I can't turn properly. I need to go and see a chiropractor or something. Never been to one, I wanna do it. I just wanna kinda of do it just for the fun of it. Okay, that smells so good, first of all. And you can see it a little bit with this brush, but let me try something a bit denser. To be fair, it did say to use a kabuki brush. Let's try this instead. Oh, that's better. Woo! Okay, that with a tan. Oh my God, that will just look banging. Does have a little bit of like glitteriness to it, but if you kind of buff it in, then it does just disappear. Oh, I want it everywhere. So that's where I'm gonna put it. Ooh. That's really nice. I love the smell of it. I really like it on my body. I will use it on my face. It's not gonna be like my ultimate go-to. Still cute though. So now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of that setting spray. So like I said, this is called the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. It's got a nice little mister. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's like if I close my eyes, I'm on holiday. Pina colada, mojitos, all-inclusive bar. Order three drinks at once. Yeah, that seems nice. Um, ooh, it's made my skin look really kind of glossy actually. So now I'm gonna sort out these slugs on my face. So I have the Boss Brow Gel in a dark brown. And then I also have a brow pencil. It's called the Precision Brow Pencil. And I got this in Cool Cocoa. So I think I'm gonna use that first and then I'll go in with the gel. Ooh, that is super skinny. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush in my brows. They're already pretty tinted at the moment. That is a weird little pencil. So I'm just gonna do my usual and just fill in a couple of stray hairs here. Oh, that's a very, very creamy pencil. You do not need to press hard with this. Spot on color though, Steph. Good job. So the little wins, you know, sometimes you just gotta praise yourself for selecting the right color. Doesn't happen often with me. Let's face it, so when it does happen, I've got to applaud myself. Yeah, this is super creamy. And it works quite well for actually filling in the front of the brow. I like this. It's a little bit weird the way it kind of feels to apply because it is so creamy, but if you do use the lightest touch, it looks so like hair-like and it fills in any little gaps. So then I'm just gonna fill them in with this brow gel here. So this is called the Brow Boss Gel. And like I said, I've got it in dark brown. So I'm just gonna run that through my brows. They are tinted at the moment, so I don't actually have to do too much with them, which is cool, but we can still try it out. Sometimes I don't even need brow gel. I just do it because it makes me feel good about myself. That seems like a solid brow gel. It's not got anything that's like jumping out at me. I'm not like, oh my God, buy this brow gel, but it's affordable and it's, yeah, solid brow gel, no complaints. So now last few things I have to try out is some falsies, eye palette, and then also a lip liner. Like I said, the lip product that I actually did order, I think it was just like a standard lipstick. Wasn't available by the time that my order got delivered, but that's fine. The lip liner that I have is in the shade BFF3. I'm pretty sure it's a nude because I'm predictable. Oh, I'm not predictable. It's a brown. Kind of nude. So I'm just gonna wipe all the shite off of my mouth. Close enough. Ooh. That's a nice nude. That's a nice color. And yep, it's nude. Hello. I really like that color. I have been, I say in the market, like you, I have more makeup than I need, but I'm always on the hunt for new, like new favorites, you know? This is like a really good brown lip liner to like do a really 90s lip. I might add a little touch of something in a minute just to let the center, cause you guys know, again, once again, I am so predictable. But I'm gonna leave it like this for now. And now we're gonna move on to the eyeballs. So for my eyes, I of course had to pick up the Mint to Be palette. This is just a load of mint green shades. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. This minty shade here looks nuts actually. Oh my God. 
Whoa. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna take a tut a fly just basically flew up my nostril then. Are you out? First of all, I'm gonna take the shade plate cool just on the corner of this little flat brush because I wanna do my inner corner with this. Okay, there's fallout, there's fallout. Get away! Oh God, it's, it's still there. Oh God, I was afraid of this. Okay, wait, let me use this brush instead. I'm just gonna mop up the excess there. Okay, so now I am just gonna go straight in with the shade Seltzer here, I think. It's quite a lot of kickback, but ooh. let's see what it can do to my eyeballs. Why do I start on that eye? I always start on this eye. I'm gonna do this eye. Okay, so I'm just going to run that minty green shade through my crease. Whoa, that's actually way more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm just going to bring that around and just kind of flick it up. And then I might even take a tiny little bit of Get Fresh, which is literally a slightly lighter shade of what I was just using, just to kind of diffuse it on my brow. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna look with this lip, but we're gonna try it. I'm then gonna take some of the shade Ice Cold down here, which is like a super intense kind of teal shade. Is it teal or turquoise? I don't know. Oh my God, that is so nice. Are you crazy? That color on its own, just like that, what? I, I would probably buy this palette again, just for this color alone. I'm not even joking. I might even try and like intensify it a little bit around here. Do something slightly more dramatic. Cause I'm not going anywhere today. So why not? I'm just gonna carry on just flicking that out slightly. Not too much. I'm then gonna take, I've gotta do it, the shade Mint Tea. And I'm just going to swoop that on and just see what the hell happens. There is a little bit of fallout with these, just a heads up, the shimmers anyway. It looks all right. I feel like, let me get my little finger, make it a bit more foiled. Boom, that's what you want. Proper alien vibes. Yes. Let's have a discussion in the comments. Do you guys believe in aliens? And I'm not talking about like microbes or cells or whatever. I'm talking about not necessarily little green men or big green men or big purple men with five heads, but like, do you believe in some kind of alien being that's like an animal or like a human-y kind of thing? Let's discuss in the comments because I fully do. There's a lot of shit out there. There's someone else out there, I'm telling you. Or we're in a simulation. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. So now I think I'm going to go in with Demonth. Is that how you say it? I don't know. And I'm gonna run that just on the kind of inner corner of my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with some more of Ice Cold, that super intense tealy color. And pack that underneath. And then I might even, we're just trying things out today, spray my brush and get a bit more of that mint tea on the go. Shake it off and just pop that right on the lower lash line, right in the center maybe. I mean, we've got a bit of fallout, but I'm still feeling it. I then think I might actually even go in with a bit of Mojito Mami and do that on my inner core instead. That is so intense. I really need to shake some of that off because that is literally madness. Brow bone as well, screw it, why not? I never play around with like pastel shades like this. So I'm looking at myself, especially with my dark lip, like, what is that? I'm feeling the eye look though. Like I am really feeling the eye look. I'm feeling all of this together and all of this together. I'm just not sure if I like the lip and the eye together, but it's cool. I can just like nude it up and make it nude. Yeah, this palette is really great. There's been a lot of hype about this palette. Did something, did that, re what the hell? Yeah, this palette's really great and Literally entire pan just fell out then. I don't know where that is. Oh my God, it's broken on my carpet. The, the palette's great when it stays in itself. I was actually there banging on about how good the shade was and the entire frick, it, there's not even a little bit left. The entire eyeshadow fell out and is now on my carpet. I still like your eyeshadow palette, Colourpop. I still like you but I really like the eyeshadow color as well. Eh.
All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I like the lashes, but I need some new lash glue because these are just not sticking to my face. If I don't move too much, if I don't blink too much, then it's fine. But yeah, note to self, buy new lash glue tomorrow. Overall though, I am very happy with this makeup look. It's not necessarily like my go-to. I feel like a little bit not like me in this, but sometimes that's a good thing to kind of like step outside. Kind of, hmm? Yes, comfort zone, step outside of your comfort zone. I feel really bad because I don't actually have time to do a proper check-in today, but what I will do is I will be wearing this over the next few days. Especially like the skin combo with like the primer and the concealer and stuff. I'll use all those products and I'll let you guys know how it all kind of works in the description box. So if you're wondering how the foundation wore after X amount of hours, check down below. I pretty much liked everything. The only thing I wasn't 100% keen on was the liquid highlighter. Like, it just been naff. Favorites would have to be, so far, the foundation, the concealer, I like the lip liner, I like the bronzer, I like the highlighter. I like it all. I like the brow stuff. The brow stuff's actually really good. So yeah, I found a lot of good stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this makeup look in the comment section down below as always. Let me know if you guys have tried out anything from ColourPop that you think I would like. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know if you think aliens exist.